Hmm, what style should I use for my drawings? Nope. 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 No. Nope. Hmm. No. Uh, well, this one looks cool. Teachers are something almost everyone has to deal with. Unless you're homeschooled. Then you have to deal with your parents. So it is officially 2018. It is official. So that means I can talk about my teachers in hopes that they won't see this video. And that if they do see this video, that I don't have them as teachers next year. And if all else fails, I'll probably go homeschooled. But anyway, so if you go or went to school, then chances are you have had at least one bad teacher. At least one. But I don't think I've had any horrible teachers, although I've had some pretty questionable substitutes. But I don't think any of my teachers have been, you know, that bad. But I do have some stories. Okay. So first story isn't so much of a bad teacher. I actually really like this teacher, no matter how scary she was. So when I was about eight or nine, I had an elderly teacher. We will call her Mrs. Illuminati, because she had an evil eye. So one day we were doing the usual, you know, learning and stuff. When a mouse ran across the floor. <laughs> and all the kids were like, Oh, oh wow, yeah, hey, yeah, wow. So the teacher, oh no. My teacher was like, <laughs> and jumped up on the chair. And I'm thinking, wait, wait, wait. Aren't you supposed to be the brave, strong, and responsible adult role model? It's just a mouse. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? It's just weird when kids are more responsible than adults. And the fact that she was so terrified that she swore in front of innocent children, shame on you. Okay, so something more recent. My science teacher, he was, uh, he was interesting. He was very old and very bald. He was very easily upset. I mean, I was never the one to upset him, because, you know, I'm a good child. And I'm also very, 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 very much terrified of him. Okay, to understand how his punishment works, you first have to understand the red slip. The red slip is a note that the teacher gives to you if there is absolutely no other option. It sends you to Satan's, uh, uh <coughs> the deputy principal's office. The thing is, he was getting rid of these things like they were explosives, giving them out here and there unless he was in a good mood where he would just yell at you for a few minutes and send you outside and yell at you some more and then give you a red slip. But it's not the red slips that are the problem. It's how easily he gives them away. I mean, they are supposed to be the last resort. One time someone came into class about four seconds late and patted their friend on the back and BAM! Get out of here! I somehow never got in trouble. I, I, I mean, pfft, of course I never got in trouble. I am a sensible young man. Okay. So the last teacher, I generally dislike. He is the worst, most unqualified teacher I have ever seen with my human eyes. And I respect my teachers, most of them. And I'm a polite student, according to all of my teachers. Well, except for this one, because he hates me. He generally couldn't say anything nice about me in my report. I think I behave well in his class compared to other kids. Okay, so my social studies teacher, I will call him... Mr. Judgmental Snob Pants Face Man. So, this guy should not be a teacher. Apparently, he used to be like a chef for some old band that went on tour like a bajillion years ago. I, I don't know why that's important. So anyway, so this guy was not made to be a teacher. First of all, he does not dress the part. So other teachers dress to look intelligent and intimidating and stuff, but how the hangle fangle are you gonna get any sort of respect from 14 to 15 year olds when you wear sandals, shorts, and a t-shirt tucked into your underwear? I mean, it was pretty hard to take him seriously. And it didn't help that he was always tripping over boxes and stuff, but I mean, at least he laughed it off. It's always good to have a sense of humor. So at the start of the year, the guy next to me didn't know how to spell a word, and the teacher came over and didn't even give him a chance. He straight up asked him, is there something wrong with you? Wait, what? You don't just ask people if there's something wrong with them. First off, it's rude, and also it's none of your business. I mean, if someone doesn't know how to spell one single word, you don't just ask them if something's wrong with them. I mean, what kind of teacher are you? That kind of stuff you should keep to yourself. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm getting so offended by it, but I'm pretty sure this was the first time I ever got triggered because I'm such a good child and this was the start of the year, so it wasn't a very good first impression. Some people, am I right?
So the year went on, and I'm like 97.9993% sure that the teacher specifically targeted me. The class is talking loudly. No, I won't tell the actually rude students to stop. I'll wait till Mado tells his friend to stop talking to him and then tell Mado to stop talking. <laughs> yeah. Hey dude, can you please stop talking? Mado Potato, shut up! This guy would just do this all the time. I mean, there were times where I was having quiet conversations with the guy next to me, but that's because everyone else was talking, and the teacher was fine with it. I really think he genuinely hates me, which made it very difficult for me to like and respect him as a human being. Anyway, so it was close to the end of the year, and he was helping the guy behind me, and the guy beside me wouldn't stop talking. Okay, so if you are friends with me in real life, you probably know that I like to use substitute swear words. They replace the swear word with something else. But I can see where the teacher got confused. I said shut the far cupboard. I mean, I should have said front door, but nope. No matter how close it was to swearing, even if I did swear, the teacher's response was not a responsible adult role model thing to do. He hit me. I mean, the teacher isn't famous for having good hearing, but he just violenced me right in the back. It didn't hurt that bad, but I definitely felt it. Okay, kids. Just want to tell you that there's been a lot of bullying going on and that it's not okay to hit people. Fudge bucket. Language, Richard. I mean, uh, I don't like that guy. How did he even get a job? Anyway, let me know your bad teacher stories down in the comments. I would really love to hear them. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and stay nifty. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to show extra support, then donate to my Patreon and follow me on Twitter at Meta Potato. We got our first fan art, which is great. If you want to see me fan art, then just tweet to me on Twitter and I will feature it in my next video. So yeah, thanks for watching.